Hi there and welcome to this review of the One Way UK Daily Devotionals for the 4th to the 8th of July. And we've been looking at John chapter 6 uh, from verses 34 to 46 over these days. Um, I've just picked out four things that really struck me during the week. There are loads more. There must be. You know, when you're reading the Bible, there's just so much in there. But these four things struck me during the week. On Monday, for example, uh, we were talking about Jesus being more than. You know, he's, he's more than a guide. He's more than a signpost to heaven. Uh, he's uh, more than a, a, our daily sustenance. Uh, because he is our ever-present source of ongoing life. So he's more than. I just thought, it's not a fabulous way of looking at it. If Jesus, if somebody comes up to you and says, well, this this Jesus, this, this Son of God, um, who is he? And then we can just smile and say, he's more than. <laughs> and they say, more than what? More than anything. Uh, second thing was that on the 5th of July, it really struck me, this, this old quote from uh, the book Guesses at Truth um, by J.C. and A.W. Hare from 1848. And I'll quote, Seeing is believing, says the proverb, though of all our senses the eyes are the most easily deceived, we believe them in preference to any other evidence. And it just struck me how wise that statement was, and I'll just leave it at that and, and say no more. On the uh, 6th of July, um, we, uh, we were looking at the question of uh, the will of the Father. And uh, Jesus was explaining um, what the will of the Father was. And uh, now, he got me to thinking, you know, this may be a little bit circular, but, but here's the thing. How do I know that God has chosen me. Well, according to the Bible, because I believe in Jesus. So how do I know that I have everlasting life and shall experience the resurrection? Again, according to the Bible, because God has chosen me. Now, the key to all this is that my salvation it is not dependent upon my personal goodness or otherwise, but upon the love of a merciful, gracious and forgiving God who sent Jesus to take the punishment for my sin and for your sin by dying in our place. Last point I wanted to mention uh, comes from uh, Thursday. And um, we could see how the uh, people questioning Jesus were, were locked into their own experience. Um, because he said to them um, uh, about, you know, I'm the bread who came down from heaven. And what they were really hooked on was not his statement, I'm the bread, which was the subject of what Jesus was talking about, but rather... That little phrase came down from heaven. They were rooted in the reality of their experience, as I've said. They knew his earthly mum and dad, so how could he come from heaven? And where does that leave you and I? Well, when we're considering the things of God, we have to be prepared to think outside the box of our experience. And on Friday, we discovered how we could do that. But the best thing is if you read Friday's devotional to discover that and to think about that for yourself. God bless you. Have a great weekend. And um, I'll be with you again next week.